But what I'd like to see us do is to get control over our spending for our public sector. And what's important to know, and I'm going to give you some statistics on this, uh, we here at the University of St. Thomas, our faculty and staff, we are on a savings plan. We are given a certain amount of money. If we will put money into the savings plan, the university very generously matches that money. And we get to control that investment to a certain degree. And when we retire, we have some money, and it depends on how frugal we are, how good we did at picking the investments for our savings plan. And that's called a defined contribution plan. There is another type of pension plan called a defined benefit plan. Defined benefit plan is a promise that the money will be there every month for the rest of your life after you retire. Uh, famously, the members of the military, the members of Congress, uh, the American president, uh, and virtually every public sector employee who has any seniority at all is under a defined benefit plan. They have a guaranteed pension. Folks, here's how disparate it is. Our servants, our servants, over 70% are covered by defined benefit plans. Us, in the private sector, including people who work for a religious institution, a university, a nonprofit university like University of St. Thomas, are not covered by defined benefit pension plans. We are covered only to the extent of 9% of the private sector has defined benefit plans. And I can tell you who they were. I started with big oil companies like Shell Oil was my first employer out of law school. And Shell Oil, I believe, still has a defined benefit plan. Many of the big dot-com companies uh, like Facebook and that ilk uh, most of them never even set up a defined benefit plan despite the success that they've enjoyed because it is it can be a very expensive uh, uh, production. But think about it, 9% of us in the private sector who are supporting our servants in the public sector have defined benefit pension plans versus 70% in the public sector. So sadly, I do recommend that we're going to have to get rid of it it's not going to be an easy thing to do, but again, folks, there's uh, no money behind the checkbook, and 